welcome to Gatwick South Terminal and welcome to a new Florida vlog series. If you are new here, I'm Gemma. I'm here. This is Jake. Say hi Jake. Hi. <laughs> and this is Abigail. And of course if you are not new here then thank you for coming back and welcome back to this new series of vlogs. We are off to Florida for 15 nights and 16 days. Um, we are going to be getting up so much from theme parks to natural springs to water parks to water sports to eating to shopping to spooky events and everything else in between. So if you enjoy a good old Florida family vlog then please do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and also hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time we put up a new video. But I'm going to include some footage now of us arriving to the airport and check in and so on and then we'll see you again in a second. Does that look like a better breakfast than what you had when we went to Heathrow? Yeah, this one looks like a sandwich. That was like a sandwich, wasn't it? Like a breakfast sandwich. It's really backlit in here, but the kids have got their toast and we have breakfast with a view. That was a nice breakfast in Wonder Tree, which is just up here. I looked at all of the restaurants and so on upstairs. I saw one like cafe down there, but otherwise it seems it will be up here. These are really nice until I wrote look at the price. How much are they? 170. Oh bargain. <laughs> so both Ian and Jake are offered some sunglasses. We don't generally buy this kind of thing when we're at the airport, but I told Jake he could have new sunglasses last time and then never got any. Then I told him to go and have a look around the shop, but he's a teenage boy who doesn't want to go around the shop. So um, that's why he's looking for some today. And Ian wants some new ones for a water park because he's only got like quite expensive sunglasses. And the last time we went to Aquatica, he broke a pair of them. So, and actually I broke my sunglasses. I broke my Hilfiger ones in Volcano Bay. So um, yeah, if you're gonna go to a water park, maybe don't wear your most expensive sunglasses. Because then. You want them, you? <laughs> Part of the fun of coming to the airport is trying all of the sunglasses. God. <laughs> they're not yours yet, you've got them on your head. <laughs> Jake has found himself some new glasses. They do remind me of the Halo game. But they're not bad. I don't mind spending 37.50, that's all right. Abby's migrated to the Victoria's Secret section. How do I smell? Oh, what is it? Rough friend sport. I used to have it as a teenager. <laughs> Aww. You reliving your youth. Now you're old. <laughs> Ian's pretending it's the 90s again. CK1. Oh, this was this was the one. Yeah. Is that the bomb? Yeah. <laughs> we used to go to um, Blackbush Market. They used to do fake ones. I oh got Blackbush Market. Is that yeah. even still a thing? Yeah, they used to do fake ones for like two or three quid. Yeah. 
thought, oh, you so you could have this one and it's the real deal. Only 19.95. That's quite a good size actually. I guess it's, I'm so tempted. This is the one I used to have. Such a pink. That's what I put on earlier. Oh yeah, I remember that one. So you do remember it? Yeah, I do remember that one. This is my perfume of choice today. £72. I think I made a good choice. I got it smelled like £72. I got attacked for a Oh my Jake. <laughs> you smell of everything. <laughs> it smell like £72 worth of perfume. <laughs> I hope I don't smell like a 72 oh, year old. 72 year old can smell really nice. No offence if you're 72, you might smell really nice. But that's not what I was going for. Ian's currently gutted. He said the only thing he wanted to buy at the airport was a milker bar. You can't find it. Oh, you're so sad. Yeah. Oh. Not gonna lie. <laughs> we found them. Look how happy he is now. He's so happy. So we're guessing gate numbers. We think it's about time now to go and find out what they are. You're going with 21? 10. 42. 42. And I'm going to go with, what did I say? 71. I'm going with 71. Yeah, look, 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 look. He's got himself some sunglasses. <laughs> what I got, look what I got. Lucas oh. Aide Sport. Ooh. What have you got? Let me, let me film this again, shall I? What have you got? Oh, look, some glasses. Yay! <laughs> so they're not too bad, were they? They were 33 pounds oh, super dry goodness. ones. So that's all right for some water park ones. If they break, they're not the end of the I'm world. I'm when it comes to glasses. I like nice ones. Whereas Abby owns about two million pairs of Primark sunglasses but and she's brought all of them with her. I thought I'd go something Most. different rather than black. I think they're quite nice. I think they'd be right. I think they're nice for the pool. I really love the plastic touch. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's COVID secure. Yeah, you wouldn't be dev if they broke. You won't be devastated. I wouldn't be crying. If I, cried. I told you, you should get some Primark ones. Last, la my last ones were like nine. You see, they ignored that. You can borrow. Some Actually, no, you're not breaking my glasses. So Which my ones can you borrow? The purple ones? No, they're brand new. <laughs> my last ones were like ninety quid. There are some police ones, um, and I wore them once, and they broke. Well, you say they broke, right? Because they bent. So what did I do? I replaced them with the exact same ones, but you've still got the old ones, and you couldn't tell which ones were the broke ones and which yeah, ones so weren't. Back, yeah, so which means they were fine. Why and I bought a seven pound chocolate. Hold on, why didn't oh, you yeah. bring his old ones that are broken? They're my van. Camel driver van That's glasses. your father for you. You can actually get your nails done here at the airport, which is quite nice. A nice way to um, pass the time. I'll show everyone your nails. Abby has had her nails done. She had little smiley faces. She had them done. They were a late birthday present. I'm a cheapskate and I just did my own nails. <laughs> oh my god, Abby. I mean, you got it right. You never get it right. You said 14 million was your first answer. <laughs> no, I said 140 million. All oh, right then. Wow. Good guess. Let's go. Right, for the first time since actually having breakfast, we've actually just sat down. We've actually already gone through to the gates. We're just sat up boarding at the moment, but I thought I'd just come on and actually talk to you. Um, Gatwick South Terminal is actually quite small. I thought it was going to be bigger than North Terminal. I don't know why I thought South Terminal was the main terminal. Did you? You've been to South Terminal before. I don't remember it. When you were younger, like family holidays. Yeah. Yeah, excuse yeah. me, sorry. Right. It was South Terminal was short, it was one of our long, long horns was North Terminal. Really? Yeah. yeah. Even so, when we used to go to like. Mallorca and stuff though, we all, not me when I went to Mallorca, <laughs> when we used to go to like Costa del Sol and that, it was always North Terminal. Anyway, South Terminal's quite small. 
There's not really a lot here. Um, we've managed to sort of wander around though. Ian's got some sunglasses, Jake's got some sunglasses, Ian got the chocolate bar that he wanted. Um, and the kids want a drink. And how much is this? It's like £11 in WH Smith. I actually don't know if I feel WH Smith, so I'll just include the amount of money here. And something you would have noticed in the footage that I put in of us arriving at the airport is you would have seen the price of the parking pop up in the corner of the screen. Um, that's what we do, that's what we've done for the last two vlog series. We've actually told you how much everything is that we have to pay for for our holiday in the suitcase on the bus. And so it's a kind of a budgeting idea so you can get an idea really of how much everything is costing us out here. Um, I'm not sure if you would have seen my planning video that I put out before this one where I actually discuss everything that we have paid out for for this holiday. I've told you how and when we booked, um, how much we paid and I've also gone through what it is that we're going to be doing and I also spoke about spending money as well. And um, So we have a budget of $2,800 um, for the 15 nights. Like, 16 days which works out $175 per day no I've not included that for the airport so like what we've spent at the airport because that's all in dollars so that starts from the moment we arrive into Florida and um, but I will put up a total now of how much we have spent at the airport and then for everything that we spend while we're there such as fuel food drink uh, parking merchandise anything really then you will see how much it costs and at the end of each video i will pop up a total of how much it was in total that day so you can see if we've gone over that budget or if we've stuck underneath that budget so check-in was really easy actually and um, it didn't take us very long to get here we drove up um, straight to the airport no traffic no roadworks no nothing so it was perfect and um, parked up there was already a, a bus waiting um, to jump on to take us to the terminal so that was all pretty quick i'd say it probably took us 50 minutes from arriving into South Terminal, going through check-in, and then I'm going through security and getting through. And we also had to go to the actual check-in desk because when I checked in online, Ian came back saying that he, we couldn't print his boarding pass. Um, it just turned out he had to do the, the extra security checks and when we've actually come into the gate here you got pulled over and swabbed down and they went through your bags and stuff didn't they you were like ah. so you already well, know that you haven't done anything wrong but it's still quite scary anyway and that's that's what you get for laughing at me because i had to go to like the body scanner when you've got to put your hands up on the way in payback hey, those <laughs> But yeah, check-in was absolutely fine, um, I said security was pretty quick as well, so we got here with plenty of time just in case we ran into any long queues or anything. Um, but yeah, we're all good, we're waiting, it is 25 to 12 and our flight is at 12.20, so they'll probably start boarding soon, and then um, we'll go and find our seat. Oh yeah, 45. Do you know which letter? Um, yeah, it's all the middle ones. In the middle ones? Yep. Okay. <laughs> We're on the plane. It's early. Quarter to one. So the flight was due to leave at 20 past. So I guess we are a little bit delayed. Um, it says 8 hours and 55 minutes on the screen. It's good sign that since we've gone. Well, obviously, we haven't gone anywhere. We are done in that schedule time. No, I don't know. We thought we were in luck because there's two seats over there with no one sat in them. So we told the kids to go and sit in them. And then the um, crew said that it was their seats for. Thank you very much, cabin crew seats for take coffee. And so, and now we're just four in a row, four squished in. It feels quite small, doesn't it? Some sort of on a tri run.
This is the first time I've actually got up, and how long have we got left? Three hours and 37 minutes. Yeah. They feel like it's dragging. Quite. Yeah. Yeah. At least it. Peanut got a drawing. He did some drawings. They're really good drawings. Okay, it's a, a pretty full flight. I kind of expected it, it's six weeks holidays and everything. It looks like he's just staring at the seat. You have a really sad face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to the seat. You look so sad. From this angle, it looks like he's staring at the seat. But not at the screen, just like, oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> See, because you're a bit squashed. Yeah. Yeah, when people in front of you put their seats forward. Uh, back even, I should say. Going to be in the total of this video, but I don't think at any point I've actually mentioned we've come to Tampa. Or have I? If I have, then I'll cut this bit out. <laughs> Got the bags, so that was successful. The um, bags off the bag, yeah, the bags are already there, yeah. ready and waiting. We were the back of the plane. Um, I was like, bad that I was up, really nervous. Worried about the bag. Yeah, I've heard so many horror stories. Yeah, there has been recently. Yeah, so uh, that was all good. Getting onto the shuttle. Oh. Yeah, so, um, security wasn't too bad. 35 minutes of security. Like you said, like Ian said, the bags were already off, so um, that was good. And they're all there, so thank God for that. So um, straight out and straight onto the little monorail. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Tampa's a lot bigger, but like what we've seen of it is really small, isn't it? It's literally like come off and straight. We got, we got the rudest. Yeah, the security guy wasn't security particularly. Guy. Um, very military, wasn't he? He wasn't very chill. Possible. What are you in? Yeah. Why? Where are you staying? Yeah. What's the address? Someone called. I actually know the address, but I can't put it. Oh, we're there. Yeah. It is a little bit like Orlando. That's a little shuttle. Yeah. Isn't that the same part? Next up, we are just going to go and find a car hire. A car hire is going to eat this uh, books of the package. Um, so, VA and Avis. Yeah, we're going to go and pick it up. Greeted by a big flamingo coming out of the ceiling. So it says on here somewhere. Where did I see back? Um, car hire. Must have been a different sign. I'm pretty sure it was facing this way. Just going to follow Ian and Abby. Random. I'm just picking up our car from Avis K8. We've got a what is it called? Um, Range Rover. Range Rover. What's a Range Rover? Hyundai Santana. Apparently, it's very nice. It's very sporty looking. <laughs> hey, Jake, a bit hot. <laughs> It's a bit, it's a bit sweaty in here, isn't it? Just a tad. My God, I even look sweaty. It's official. Mike. We're in Florida. Tampa, not Orlando. Mike. Mike. Hey, Billy. Yeah, good. Are you? Or oh, you yeah. had sweaty palms because you're driving. I know, I'm getting used to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's always that nerve-wracking thing when you come out of the airport. It's just when you ain't driven for three years on the other side of the road. Yeah, the other side of the road, automatic. Um, so we haven't got an automatic yet at the moment. Our new car is going to be an automatic. Um, Ian's driving, but I am actually a spouse, so I can drive as well. Because with Avis, if you sign up to Avis Preferred, Avis Preferred, or if you're a sorry, VA. Sorry, sorry, I brought Kath in front of us. I brought her Yeah. Sorry. Um, a bit if, it's with, bit if it's with VA, if you're in segment with VA, or if it's Avis Preferred, one or the other. Um, you get your spouse gets to drive for free basically, so I am gonna give it a go. Yeah. And what's yeah, really good about this car? Look, it's hard for hard for casino. I don't know what it is. 
Then it all comes up on the screen. We've only ever had it once, so haven't we? Where it's actually come up on the screen. Yeah. A couple of other times we haven't. We've just had to use the actual phone. And it all went quite well. Oh, I no. think we've got and more to say. We've also saw a couple of lightning bolts. Oh, we right. have. Yeah, there was a massive storm yeah. in front of us, and the lightning was like yeah. straight down, wasn't it? That was really cool. Yeah, that's really, that's really cool. Yeah. And a free wheel bike. Free wheel bike. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now you know. So I was going to say, um, Avis was pretty straightforward. I did sign up to the Avis Preferred um, at home and I did the quick pass, which you can do on their website. You just basically put in all the details of the car hire and then um, you don't have to go to the desk. But because we never done it before, we didn't know how we added the additional driver. So we did go to the desk um, upstairs and then they said, no, that's fine. You just go straight down to the like rental garage. Um, and the lady said to me, oh no, that's fine, just go go to the no, car, no. you don't need to give us the other driving license. I was like, oh, okay. Um, but on the board, it said, I think they've got numbers and letters next to them, which is where your car is. Yeah, it's a bit different than um, Alamo. Alamo. But to be Alamo, fair, you go and choose your car. Yeah, you don't choose your car, so yeah, the car's already car, like yeah. allocated to you. Um, what was I going to say? Sorry. Oh yeah, so it said um, preferred centre on there rather than a number, so I went back and I think it's because it's the first time we've used them, so then I had to give over um, driving licence and credit card, and that was it basically, and then she just gave me the ticket with the number of, the, of where the car was, and that was all good, and then when we actually came out, normally with Alamo when we come out, we then have to hand the credit card over, and the driving license, and then they charge us like taxes, don't they? Yeah. But that's, I don't think that's the case this time because she just asked for the driving license. So we gave her both because we didn't know what, because obviously I'm going to be on there as well to drive. And she didn't seem as if she even wanted both. So I don't really know. I think you just can drive on it as long as it's a spouse. It can't be a family member or anything. It has to be a spouse. That's my understanding. So you might want to double check if you are coming with like, you know, a brother or fam or a friend or something. You might want to check that. Um, well, yeah, that was all good. They take a two hundred and fifty dollar deposit, and it has to be a credit card, and the credit card has to match the lead driver's name. So keep that in mind. That she didn't check the card versus the driving license from when I um, when we handed them over. So guess what? All good. But we see our amazing villa in a right like an hour. Do we get on villa? We are 49 minutes away. When we left the airport, it's an hour and eight minutes, but I didn't start recording until we knew where we were going. Oh, we're on the US 27. It makes me so happy just to see all of the food signs. <laughs> it's that weird. It's not weird, is it? But there's a Denny's you over know, there. Can I just, can I just say to, to everyone watching, we always say we don't eat McDonald's that much. We honestly don't. So you will see us eating a lot of McDonald's probably on this holiday. Cause cheap. It's cheap. Um, <laughs> and Abby's a turn. But the last time we had McDonald's, it's August now, the last time we had McDonald's was... My birthday. Abby's birthday. Abby's birthday one meal, which is June. Yeah. And before that, California, February, right? Probably, yeah. Shit, I've even yeah. been a couple of times after school, but not us. Yeah, I had, I went. So that's not, that's not bad. The last day of school. Yeah, yeah, we really don't. We just look like we always eat McDonald's. <laughs> so we are going to go to Walmart before we go to the villa. Because um, the villa's off the US 27, and Walmart is also off the US 27, but a little bit further down. So it's currently half seven. But we were just going to go straight to there and just go and get like the essentials, like some. Um, <laughs> my instant thing was to say biscuits. Then. No, oh, I don't want to be having biscuits all day. <laughs> Why not? I, I even have biscuits on, on the airplane. Breakfast is what I was meant to say, 
that's what's meant to have come to my head. We're going to go and get all of our breakfast items and stuff, essentials and um, pool floats. We're going to look at pool floats Echoes. for the pool. Echoes. Yeah, you haven't had them for ages. And so we're going to go there now and then we'll go to the villa straight after. Walmart time! So exciting! Straight to the baked goods. They do put it at the, uh, at the entrance. Strawberry rolls. Ooh. She gets so many. Look how big that is. Mm. Like cinnamon rolls, but strawberry rolls. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Frighten anyone. <laughs> oh, the cake goodness. What did you say? Because we were meant to have been here for my birthday in 2020. Ooh, and you would have been in here going, oh, what cake shall I buy? Oh, it'd be kind of rude not to. As I said before, I am the only one that actually eats these. Um, pink or blue? That's the question. I'm going to go blue. I think I pink last time. People with sugar cookies, it's like, oh, it's a, it's a phase. Everyone has to have sugar cookies, but I actually do really, really like them. And I've heard that actually the cookies are meant to be really, really good as well, just like normal cookies, like these. So I might have to try some of those as well. Not that any of these are actually breakfast essentials, which is what we've come in here for, though. So um, I will walk away. So, oh, look at them tiny weeny donuts. They're pretty cute. I wonder if these are the cookies that's meant to be really, really nice. Well, we try. Should we try them? I like cookies, so. Yeah, I'm okay. Up that. Stick them in. Oh, it's a really big one there. If they're really good, we'll come back for them. <laughs> Show me what you got. Three or two. Oh, they're 450, aren't they? Pound, pound in Tesco. <laughs> Cha ching! Ooh. One thing we always have to have for breakfast is a bacon. And we're just having a look to see which one we think it is that we've had before. Mm -hmm. I do think it might be this one. I said, have you ever tried them? No, I haven't. Oh, look at the bacon. That's three pounds of bacon. They're just really thick They're slices thick. though. And that's 20 dollars. Good. Jeez, I think it's them. These ones? Yeah. Well, we're getting there with a pound. But I do feel like day two, two or three days for us. Yeah, well, do you want to like multi pack buy and buy a couple of them like now and they're just going to go in the fridge or, or if it's come the wrong back? Ones, you don't like it. Yeah, that's a good point. We'll get one now. And if it is the right one, when we come back, we'll get a couple. Yeah? Yeah, okay, tropical. tropical. Just looking at all the different juices. Abby is really fussy with drinks. She loves Tesco's Coke. And you try and give her, like, you know, a Coke Zero or something at a restaurant. She can't turn the nose up at it. But she said she wants to get some squash. Uh, we found the eggs. 18. 28. 28th August. The night. September, that's fine, yeah. yeah Just yeah, we're yeah. 18 eggs. Because then if Abby wants eggs for breakfast and we both have eggs, oh, wow. they won't last that long. We are now at the villa. Um, I'm not going to film too much more tonight because I just feel really, really travel sick. So we've kind of brought the bags in and kind of abandoned them at the moment. I think the kids are gonna go and jump in the pool, so maybe Ian's gonna step a bit longer, but I'm gonna go to bed. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope you've enjoyed travel day. I will give you a good view, a good showing round of this villa um, in the morning. So please come back for the next one to have a look to see where it is that we're staying. And then we'll just talk more about, obviously, anything else that we've not spoken about already. Um, I will put in the corner of the screen here now how much we've spent today. Um, so that's about all I have to say. If you've enjoyed it, then please do give us a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you know when our next video is uploaded. And we'll see you next time. Bye.
Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away, side away. Oh.